And now, your NBC 26 Storm Shield forecast with meteorologist Gino Recchia. We started off this morning with a little bit of some sunshine, but as we went into the afternoon hours, well, the clouds started to increase, and we are now seeing more of a mostly cloudy to even overcast conditions. But yesterday, we had some interesting weather. Guess what? It was the first snowfall in the last 181 days. Remember the last snowstorm? Yeah, it was the blizzard. That's when the last time we had the snowfall. So the snow drought has officially ended. April 16th was the last time we saw some snow, but it's not going to be sticking around. Obviously, it didn't accumulate here in Green Bay, but up to the north, parts of Ocano County and even Langley County, they had some light accumulation. But temperatures in the 40s this afternoon, so that has melted those uh, snowfall accumulations off towards our west. Sunset tonight at 6.08 p.m. with a wind out of the west at 18 miles per hour. 32 degrees in Antigo right now. Upper 30s from Sturgeon Bay, Sister Bay down towards Manitowoc, 40 in Green Bay, 37 in Appleton. It is very chilly when our average highs should be right around 57 for this time of year. Winds blowing in out of the west and northwest about 10 to 20 miles per hour, and that is making feel like temps feel like the upper 20s and lower 30s. It is de definitely a taste of winter weather out there. We have mostly cloudy skies, and some of these clouds are causing a few little stray flurries moving uh, down to the ground, but don't worry. No accumulation anticipated. We are going to see some clearing skies overnight tonight. And then for tomorrow, we will see a warm-up, actually. A warm front will pass through the area, and that will boost our highs back into the lower 50s. But then behind it, a cold front moves through late tomorrow night, and that will drop us down back into the 40s. So here's what SkyCast does. That warm front inches its way eastward. But you see how the track of the storm system moves off to the east? That cold front quickly behind that warm front. So it's really just uh, an afternoon of some milder temperatures before once again we get that cool air mass behind it. So for tonight, we drop down into the lower 30s and perhaps even the upper 40s. It will be a chilly one tonight. But as we go into later tomorrow, then we'll start to warm up a little bit. As you can see, mostly clear skies tonight. And then as we get into the afternoon tomorrow, the clouds increase. And we do see temperatures warming, though, into the lower 50s. But then the temperatures once again do drop down into the 30s. And some of us perhaps even once again into the upper 20s by Thursday morning. So for tonight, 33 degrees. The winds out of the west and southwest, 10 to 15 miles per hour under mostly clear skies. Then for tomorrow, it will still be breezy, but at least it'll be a little warmer. Winds out of the west and southwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Seven day forecast, we will be at 44 on Wednesday, a little warmer on Thursday. Now on Friday, another cold front comes through and we could see a few stray showers moving across the area high of 57 and perhaps even a couple isolated showers in the afternoon on Sunday, high of 46 degrees, cooler on Sunday with a high of 43. And then on Monday, a little warmer back to the lower 50s. And that's a look at your forecast.